Here we have an algebraic equation, and we're going to very carefully go through each step and explain those steps so that we can solve for x. So let's start at the beginning. We have this is a given. This is what we're trying to solve, this equation. So what we want to get to, of course, is x equals something. So let's do each step and discuss each step along the way. So uh, here we have 2 times the quantity x plus 1 half equals 0 is our given. Then we want to distribute. It's the distributive property. So we're going, to sim we're going to just basically simplify this as much as possible to the very end. So the distributive property says we multiply through by 2. So multiplying this quantity by 2 gives us 2 times x and 2 times 1 half. That's the distributive property. Now when you do any algebraic uh, equation that you're solving for x, at each point after you do something, you need to simplify. So we've done the distributive property, then we need to simplify. So 2x stays the same. 2 times 2 is, of course, just 2 times 1 half is just 1. So we have to simplify after each uh, step that we do something. The next step that we're going to do something is an inverse operation of addition. We need to get rid of this plus 1, and the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So we're going to use the subtraction property. If we subtract 1 from here, we have to subtract 1 from the other side. So when we do that, then we simplify. And 1 minus 1 is 0, so we're just left with 2x. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So we need to do the next step. We have an x here, 2 times x. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we're going to use the division property. 2x divided by 2, and then we have to do divided by 2 on the other side, negative 1 divided by 2. Then we simplify. 2x divided by 2 is just x, and this stays the same. So x equals negative 1 half. After we simplify it, that's our final answer. We have x on one side and everything else on the other. So we're finally done here.